Good morning to the new trading week and uh, good morning from your Frankfurt office of CMC Markets. Yeah, there was challenge Yellen closing trading, so, so to say, closing trading on Friday with a late hour speech about the markets. She gave no hint to a, a rate hike in December, which was kind of surprising because her colleagues or a lot of them actually seem to be eager to hike rates. She wasn't in the mood on Friday at least to hint um, any such step. She is still not really satisfied with GDP growth. 1.1% um, was the GDP growth in the United States in the first half of this year. Now if you look at the GDP now somewhat near time indicator for GDP growth in the third quarter, that's the GDP now indicator from the Federal Reserve of Atlanta, it has halved in the past months to now 1.6%. So that's all disappointing. It's all, um, if, if taken together, if, if there should be 1.9% growth in the third quarter, 1.9% in the fourth quarter, which would be above current um, forecasts, then the growth in the US economy in the year 2016 would only be 1.5%. And that's much less than has been expected at the start of the year expectations at the start of the year 2016 have been for three and a half percent growth. And then there was one sentence which was really kind of surprising and uh, that was w when Janet Yellen said that inflation in the United States could go and could rise above two percent and that would be no problem. Wow, if you remember back some weeks ago um, her, co her colleague uh, Rosengren, who is one of the FOMC members who seem to be eager to high rates, has said that there could come a moment where inflation is starting to rise very quickly and then the Federal Reserve needs to high rates very quickly, which would in the end like uh, stop any economic expansion that had been created by lose monetary policy in the first place. But now Janet Yellen actually said, oh, it's no problem, 2% inflation. And above that, um, yeah, we could really, um, would really be a situation that is okay in her eyes. So if you think that through, it's, it might be also okay to have 3% inflation in the United States without the Federal Reserve like um, trying to, to tackle that as long as the Federal Reserve regards that 3% inflation as temporary. So that is something that has spooked the markets a bit because it like spoke for or it hiked the probabilities for lower rates for a longer, longer, even longer time than markets thought before. So no Fed, no real Fed signal on Friday, a more dovish signal on Friday. Um, and now there will be all eyes on Thursday when the ECB meets and in the early afternoon uh, Mario Draghi will hold a press conference. Markets expect no change from there. Um, it will be interesting to see in my opinion if Draghi is going to repeat his, his inflation forecast. He said that inflation in the eurozone is going to go up to 1% in the past months of this year or in the first months of the next year. Inflation in the eurozone should rise to 1%. And then until end of 2018 or the beginning of the year 2019, it should go up to the target of 2%. That was unusually optimistic words from Mario Draghi and it will be very interesting to see if he's going to repeat that forecast. And um, should inflation, and that is just a side note here, should inflation go up from the very low levels near zero, to 1%, should there be a rise in inflation, it could mean that investors and global investment funds who have fled the Eurozone because they fear deflation, they fled the Eurozone to invest in emerging markets and primarily to invest in US equities, should inflation go up in the past months of this year, there could be some diversification back from the United States equity markets and from emerging markets back to the Eurozone and that could serve to, um, to some, some catch-up effect from the DAX to the global market. So that is really something uh, you should watch closely. Something um, else which is very important this week will be China GDP numbers which will be coming out in the night from Tuesday to Wednesday. Wednesday 
morning we expect a market consensus is that the GDP in China grew by 6.7%. So that would be very interesting to see how this will go after China actually um, um, published very disappointing import and export data last week, which spooked markets because, um, you know, the hard landing scenario um, with the Chinese economy is still on the table. It has uh, somewhat taken a backseat in the past um, months, but should um, the Chinese um, data, Chinese economic data, continue to disappoint strongly, like the import and export data last week did, then the hard landing talk could really go from the backseat to become a more important uh, topic, which could create volatility. So that is some data, um, Chinese GDP numbers on Wednesday, which you should uh, watch closely.